Here today we got something pretty fun. We have some new information and some new things that I want to share with you, a tier list update and stuff like that. Kafka is already out on the Asia server and people have already done their hardest of testing and it's working out pretty well. Things are looking pretty up for the game or for the character, right? Here today I wanted to jump into it. If you're new to the channel, like and subscribe helps out a ton. Let's check it out and let's hop over there. So first up, you might be caring about this. We have the entire update to the, uh, the tier list over here on private, right? Um, so again, if the, uh, do we have a change log as usual? Uh, we have the change log here. Uh, it looks like just Kafka was added. I remember when Blade kind of dropped, it literally dropped every other character. <laughs> That's what happened, right? Because uh, Blade was in a tier of his own, and they didn't want to, like, put any other character on his tier because he just creates that tier, but he, they didn't also want to drop another tier, so it, it was it was complicated. But at the end of the day, he was great. And where we have her ending up, at E0, we do have her popping up at S tier, which is, again, probably correct, 100%. Um, I still think that the uh, the Jiggy Wan players are very much um, you know angry at the fact that yes uh, last time when I made the video they were they were very mad uh, that they put him at eight tier um, but I do think that Jiggy Wan is still a very powerful character um, and he is a very good character it's just you know it does take a lot of time to build him work on him and make and give him a lot of love and support and then he'll he'll hit the numbers you want uh, but again for what it is they're looking at MOC um, that's mainly what these tier lists are designed for make sure to keep that in mind always and it looks like Kafka is kind of performing very well a lot of the tests that I've seen. Damn, dude, she, she's doing pretty good. So DOT about to make a comeback, or actually be very, very useful now. Um, and it's I think I definitely think that for what it is a as a character, um, if you if you skipped Blade for her, you didn't make like the wrong decision. Okay, relatively speaking, um, Blade is a very strong character also. But I do wonder in the future when we get that other other character with a similar kit, how that turns out to be um, in comparison to what Blade is. But I think, dude, when when I when I was um, so I didn't summon for Blade, I made that clear. Uh, but I rented a Blade unit. And from somebody a few times and oh my god dude he is kind of crazy <laughs> he definitely is right um and again i have done some testing on some other accounts and blade is a very strong character and a very fun one i, I, I like his kid a lot and it, for what it is he definitely is in the tier of his own in the aspect of he is really good and that's why everyone else got pushed down but again kafka ended up in his tier so technically he's not in the tier of his own anymore that phrase cannot be used for him uh, but again we'll check the review and see how kafka's kind of doing uh, and what the uh, information that could be gathered again if you want like some of the um the sets also uh this is all here so if you need anything you can go check it out um and then again the best light uh, light cones are also here uh, but we do have this uh kafka's best synergy basically will be uh Sarof, which is understood luca sampo uh which is also understood pella and tingyun right so Pretty much, we knew that. 100%, these characters are very much the best for this uh, this new featured character being Kafka. Uh, so I do think that that's 100% correct. Um, I do want to read Silver Wolf's one here. Silver Wolf is by, fest, uh, by far, by best, that's crazy, uh, by far the best partner for Kafka due to her ability to implant weakness on the enemy. Breaking enemies for lightning or another element, uh, or sorry, another DOT element is a massive addition to Kafka's damage output, uh, time, oh, sorry, damage over time output. I keep messing these words up, all right? As both her skill and ultimate will re-trigger the break effect silver wolf enables this for every single fight regardless of weakness she also provides great defensive utility with her bugs and the ability to break the uh, quantum in a pinch on top of supplying defense shred and incredible incredible damage uh multiplier for dot teams so again kafka is gonna kind of need if you will um so wolf but you don't have to run it right you will lose a lot of the dps uh, which is every showcase that i've seen it is kafka plus silver wolf so if you want to Again, I think we knew this too. Uh, people were also pushing this as a point. If you want Kafka, you kind of need Silver Wolf to make that work because uh, it's going to be very, very uh, versatile and kind of, it's like, it's the same thing of if you want Blade, you kind of want Luocha because Luocha is like one of the best freaking healers uh, in the game. So you want to like add those two together. So one plus one equals two. That's the whole point. Um, I think the same thing was with Kafka. You want Silver Wolf, you really do. And that's going to really help you. Uh, but it is true that yes, you don't have to. You can just run like a full dot team without her but you will lose a lot of the damage uh, because the bugs first off for the, for the defense trade and then the entire break effect and everything it, it's going to put her kit together right it, it's going to make it much much better uh so that is why if you did pull for silver wolf and you want kafka it's more of a reason to go for kafka uh because it's going to make kafka better simply put correct so do uh, do realize that but uh some of the best teams here uh triple dps best in slot um so you can see kind of here again the the best in slot for kafka is kind of that if you don't have that, it's fine. You can kind of mess around uh, without it. Again, you can also replace Bailu. Bailu would be pre uh, pretty good for Luocha instead. Uh, again, Luocha is just better, but, you know, Bailu would still be very, very good. Uh, so do keep that in mind. That's also there. Uh, we do have this over here. 
the full Kafka review, uh, which it is crazy. It's a lot to read here. So I definitely, if you if you want to go and read it, just open up Pridewin and go through it. Uh, I would like to go through the pros and cons. I want to read through a whole blob of text uh, to make this much more uh, kind of faster. Uh, devastating single target and AoE damage, which we kind of saw. That's what's going to happen here. Um, AoE is more, uh, mainly where she's leaning on, but single target won't be uh, far behind. Re uh, realize that now. Consistent damage output due to dots, which is true, can force proc dots on enemies to front load the damage, also true. Uh, doesn't care about crit stats at all. Yeah, something we were kind of running into with this character. Uh, easy dot uh, application thanks to her talent. Okay, there's that too. Extremely high investment required for both her and her teammates. This was also being run, right? This is the current statement uh, we all were pushing before the character released, that it's going to be a very high investment. And if you, if you want this character to really be the character of the year, it's going to take some time and it's going to take some investment. It's going to, right? So again, realize that now that if you are chasing Kafka and her team, you're going to have to fork over some, some mats here and you're going to have to make it work. You're going to have to give them some love and support similar to Jing Yuan and you're going to have to get going. Otherwise, you're not going to get like that character you're looking for, correct? That's why a character like Zila slap on one, two things and boom, she's ready to just like destroy the entire thing and keep getting resurgence, right? Um, that's relatively speaking. Calm down. I know she still takes investment, but if you were to compare the two, that's why it's being said. Uh, I don't think Blade requires a little bit of help too, a little bit uh, in comparison, but you know, to kind of do those big numbers you want, you're going to have to give the character some love, right? So again, uh, keep that in mind. Uh, again, Kafka is whatever you want to call her. You're going to love her regardless. I know, but yeah, it is what it is. So keep that in mind. Uh, wants to potentially, uh, or what is it? Wants potentially unreasonable amount of speed, which is kind of true greatly benefits from her a6 meaning she takes a while to reach her max okay so that's also there keep that in mind right um again that's the skills over here uh there was a damage testing chart do we have that here uh that's the lore is it dps rankings is that why they were testing here today um so kafka is literally right here for a single target she's ending up over here for idol on one or zero when she's e6 yeah so <laughs> i saw a video when she was e6 uh, by a insane whale and geez bro geez you should see the twitter replies on like a video everyone was like damn damn like they're all responding uh it's kind of crazy what she can do when she's e6 so the whales are gonna have a blast e5 is still top two uh e4 still top two still top two still top two still top two e0 she falls below uh yenching over here but again still a very very good character if you were to switch to three she's gonna be on top there you go uh, she is a very powerful character, but she will take investment. It's not like I'm just going to slap on one thing and work the, work the character out. Uh, E6, Blade is still better, though. Uh, Blade is still better. Uh, Blade is still better, imagine. Uh, there we go. <laughs> E3. Uh, so basically, all you kind of want is E3, and you're going to go. Um, again, I haven't checked the Eidolon, so just don't listen to me on that. I'm just, I'm just speaking out loud. Um, over here, we have Jing Yuan as the break units. Um, and then E6 will be still Blade, right? She's going to be falling down here, but we understand that, right? Uh, so again, that's currently where it stands. That's where Kafka kind of ranks. She is a very strong character. We knew this. We knew this going in. I, I kind of said it. Um, it's just, again, it's it's more so, do I want to build that team? People people aren't really investing the sample like that. Unless you are, I'm not saying nothing. Uh, but if you're, if you're willing to build the team for her, she's going to do that number you're looking for. If you're not willing to, then you don't have to, right? You can chase other characters. For example, Blade was a little bit more of a reasonable team, a healer plus Blade plus some sort of support, kind of being a, a pretty good area. Um, you want a team like Zila, or like, again, a very strong DPS character. Silver Wolf, a very versatile, universal character. And then a character like Locha, a great support that's always going to carry through the tide of the game, correct? That's currently where we stood. Um, and now we understand that basically that's what it is, right? She's a very powerful character. That's where she ranks. Uh, so hopefully you were able to enjoy that video. Just a quick one. I want to talk about Kafka real quick. And um, yeah, she's a very strong character. So if you want to go and pull for her, I think that you're going to have a blast. I, I do think so. So good luck and uh, best, best of luck on your pulls. It's coming out soon. She's coming out soon. Yeah.